In general, winning teams demonstrate better performance than losing teams in effectiveness of scoring points each time they invade the opponent's field and in the line-out in play continuity, in keeping the ball in dynamic phases of play, and they have a more efficient foot game. The analysis of game statistics, with regard to individual and collective skills, is one of the tools that can be utilized to describe and monitor behavior in competition. In spite of the limitations that can arise from the different variables used in these studies this type of data is useful to have greater knowledge of the game. The objective of the present study was to analyze the differences in different game statistics of the game of rugby between winning and losing teams. Method The data from 58 games of round-robin play from the Six Nations tournament from the 2003, 2004, 2005 and 2006 seasons were analyzed. The data were collected from the official web page of the Six Nations. The studied variables were divided into three groups. The first group of variables, points scored, describes the number of points scored and the way in which the points were scored. The second group of variables, phases of play, describes the way teams obtained the ball and how the team used it. And the third group of variables, game development, describes technical and tactical aspects. Results. The average values, standard deviations, and medians of the values of the variables studied between winning and losing teams are demonstrated in the table. For the first group of variables, points scored, winning teams had averages that were significantly higher for the following variables, points, tries, conversions and successful drops. Winning teams also had higher averages for the rest of variables, however no significant differences were found. For the second group of variables, phases of play, winning teams had averages that were significantly higher in the variable malls one. Winners also had non-significantly higher averages in the variable scrums one lineouts one and balls one in the attack phases. Losing teams had significantly higher averages for the variable scrums lost and lineouts lost. Additionally, losing teams had non-significantly higher averages in the variables balls won in open play balls won in the opponent's 22 meters zone ruck and drive and ruck and pass. For the third group of variables, game development, winning teams had significantly higher averages for the following variables, line break possessions kick tackle completion and turnovers won. They also had higher averages, although insignificantly so, for the variables kicks to touch penalty goals conceded, tackles made, and errors made. Losing teams had insignificantly higher averages for the variable tackles missed and passes completed. The multivariate analysis showed that the discriminant function obtained was significant and it correctly classified 92.7% of winning and losing teams. Specifically, when carrying out this analysis, the results demonstrated that when differentiating winners and losers, the only variables that discriminated the two groups were tries and conversions.